we're just hiking in to try and find a route called Peace. It's uh, I think it's like 8B or 513C, I don't know. But um, it's a really cool face climb. Quite a few people I know have given it a good go or done it. We didn't actually have a guidebook for Ptolemy yet. We've been looking in all the shops, can't find any. I think they're all sold out. So we didn't really know where we're going. So we're back on the cliff. Oh my God, it looks so blank up there. Just need to kind of find the actual route. So we think it goes up the side of this thin line. Time is preparing well for the sun. I think I'll just coat myself in this. And the sun will penetrate my sunscreen. Okay, at the bottom of Peace, just did this 11 something up here. It is okay, the bolts are pretty spread out. Um, and this is the route. How's it to be doing Aaron again? So good. <laughs> so much easier when it's over it's not overhand. It's just slab over it, like just kinda go upstairs. <laughs> Still a lot of work, but nothing compared to the overhand walls. Ptolemy is a really beautiful place. It's got more of a like a subtle beauty than you get in say Yosemite, which is kind of awesome and massive and inhospitable in some ways. But here it's kind of a more human scale. So beautiful and it's about 9,000 feet elevation, so you just get out of breath all the time. And if you want to, I'll get you flowers waiting around the bend. Baby, let's just pretend. So we're back at peace. Today I'm going to try and climb it without chalk. I thought it'd be great to kind of see how it was back in the day before they kind of started coating everything with chalk. Nothing to do with forgetting my chalk bag. So not only do I have no chalk, but the tick marks I put on two days have been like completely washed off by the rain. There's just nothing. It's just like the same, you just can't find anything again. And it just feels incredibly sharp on my fingertips. I think I've got about one go before my fingers are completely raw. Pretty refreshing. There's no showers in Tuolumne, like none in the campground, so glacier lake it is, but it's not actually that bad. Check out my Jazzy's howl. I love nature. It's just such a nice place to swim. It's just like sandy bottom. It's like a beach. on the way back and now it's a hailstorm. Some of these hailballs are huge. So one hour ago I was just climbing in my t-shirt and now the campsite's like this crazy winter scene with like the size of these uh, hailstones. Absolutely massive. Back at the base of peace today, it is freezing cold. Uh, which means good conditions, I guess, if I can get my fingers warm. And just below us, Tama is 
just jumaring up. Uh, she's got a broken tail at the moment, so she's not really climbing. Crushing the jumars. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cold. But the conditions are amazing though. Yeah. There's two like hard sequences, which is working for and hard to do even when you're fresh. This time, just like first time, it's like the moves are pretty good, and yeah, so like the friction's so good, but and that makes it obviously a lot easier. But it's not really very enjoyable because my finger, my toes are numb, and my fingers and my face is this wind constantly blowing, freezing air, and I can hardly talk. Time can't kind of understand what I'm saying, like take us like a raw. It's like, oh man. It's like, I don't love, like, I like the conditions, but I actually prefer it to be harder and warmer and just more enjoyable overall. And just, you know, if I can't do it when it's warm, gotta get better. Um, but it's cool, it's good to do all the hard moves. Taking pictures. I'm always filming. Good. Yeah, because you don't have any use for pictures. What are you watching? Views of China. Some serious flooding. This is why I missed my flight. Ah, uh, the dulcet tones of the Chinese language. Is he having a chat or is he angry? No one knows! 